Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome back to the Overwatch beta. Today we're gonna be playing a game with the one and only Zarya, the only hero that I currently have available that actually has a recolored skin. It's not the most pretty looking skin, it's not the best looking skin in the game, but it's the only skin that I got currently from opening up one of the loot boxes. And we find ourselves on a defending team on Numbani. Now, you can notice a couple of my uh, my teammates actually, like uh, in particular the Bastion right there. This is actually his very first game and that is because the beta is now finally back up. He's only a level 1, you get level 2, I believe immediately after playing your very first game. So, to those of you that are new to the game and that got access to the beta as well, I hope you're having a blast. For those of you that sadly did not get invited yet and really tried, I'm really sorry if you didn't get in yet. I, I know I had a lot of people come to the live stream yesterday on Twitch that were really quite upset about the fact that they didn't get invited yet, but... You know, it is what it is. Eventually, I'm imagining they will be doing like a lot more open beta weekend events that will allow us to, um, you know, get a little bit more, a little bit more players in. But for the moment, it seems to be a relatively limited amount of people. Now, I am going to go ahead here and play Zarya. Now, what is Zarya all about? Zarya is a tank. I'm here to tank damage. I'm not here to actually, um, you know, do as much damage as possible. I'm here to soak up the damage from my teammates. And the way I do so is by the different kinds of... Uh, shields that I provide so I can provide my shield uh, to also an ally by using that E ability right there And I could also put a shield on myself and that shield on myself is very useful as well as the shield on the ally is very useful as well Because a it tanks up a lot of the damage, but B oh my god But B it also actually strengthens my basic attack So if you look at that number that stands below my crosshair it right now says 50 uh, if you look at that number it basically uh, the more the shields that I provide are getting attacked, the stronger my basic attacks become. And it's really quite a cool concept, because I'm constantly providing the team with a lot of extra sustain. I'm providing myself with a lot of extra sustain as well. And if the enemies are attacking into that, they're basically providing me with a lot of extra uh, damage eventually as well. So it's really cool. My left mouse button click is just a straight up beam that I can activate to nuke enemies down. And that's what I'm using constantly. But I can also right click that costs a bunch more ammo. And it basically throws forward a grenade uh, that does splash damage. Now the ultimate that I have also has a lot of potential. But we'll go over that in a little bit. I'm going to be walking back to the team. Because it looks like they are already pushing objective A. On this particular map, as you may be aware, they are um, you know, forced to escort a payload if they want to be winning this. They have 3 minutes remaining right now to go ahead and capture objective A. If they manage to do so, they will need to escort the payload towards objective B. Now our goal as the defending team is to make sure that that does not happen. So I'm going to try my very best here. Just make sure that um, you know, that, that, is not, uh, that it is not captured all that quickly. 3 minutes remaining right now. They, um, they will lose the game if we manage to defend it for the time being. Ultimate is almost available though, and the ultimate is sick. The ultimate has a ton of potential as well. Uh, basically what it does, I throw forward like a, a projectile that will pull all the enemies that are in that circle together as a, like, a single target. And what happens is I can oftentimes like sustain um, like a stupid amount of damage while that is going on. Although I'm super low right now, yeah. I am a little bit too low. Didn't have my left, uh, my left shift ready to go and I couldn't quite keep myself alive right there. But basically, what happens is I pull everyone together with the ultimate that I have available right now. And I will then go ahead and use the splash damage of my right mouse button click to try and nuke as many of the dudes down as possible. So it basically grabs all the heroes from like a big area, pulls them closely together. Now I'm actually gonna be going through the little center piece here um, to see if I can go ahead and maybe sneak up to a bunch of the enemies. They have two minutes remaining. This is not too bad for us at all. But, um, looks like they're mostly just here. Alright, alright. Alright, I am throwing my ultimate forward right there. You can see it does a lot, but sadly the Reinhardt shield is going forward. Actually, it looks like one of my teammates, I believe, just asked whether or not I was loco. <laughs> I believe that is me, sir. But he can't hear me right now. I'll type back to him as soon as we have a little bit of a moment. Ooh. Alright, we have to defend for another minute and a half. The one thing, though, to keep in mind here is that our, like, walkback time is significant. Oh my god, that was bad. Oh my god, he actually managed to pin me there. But basically, the, the, the time it takes for us 
to get back into the battle is significantly longer than theirs, which means that as long as they, you know, trade evenly in the amount of heroes that are going down, they will be able to eventually unlock the payload, and they did just manage to do so. So they have four minutes right now to deliver it all the way over here. And this spot will actually be a lot easier for us uh, to get to because, hey, we respawn right in that little building there and the payload needs to be delivered right outside of it. So basically right now the roles are reversed. Now let's say, yep, it's me <laughs> to Mr. Tomac um, because, um, hey, he apparently recognized my name, which sometimes happens in video games nowadays. I'm so e-famous, apparently. <laughs> Alright, they are pushing very, very nicely, though. They have a Reinhardt, and Reinhardt is insanely good at doing exactly that. I immediately do end up falling there once again by Soldier 76. I think that may have been his Tactical Visor there as ultimate, yeah. And basically, the Tactical Visor ultimate makes it so that every single shot he takes will immediately go towards the target. It's practically an aim assist. Um, that allows him to do a stupid amount of burst damage once the ultimate is up. And I couldn't quite shield myself to withstand all of that. So, so far, we've managed to do five eliminations and three deaths. That's not all too amazing. Definitely hoping for something a little bit better than that. Ooh, gotta be careful there. That grenade did just pop in, which is the, uh, the ultimate of the Tracer player. Once again, Reinhardt bursting onwards and forward here. But he is caught completely out of position. And I can try and get behind his shield here. Nuke him down. Okay, there we go. Good job. Good job, boys. Alright, so the payload is right over here. Two minutes remaining and a half, or two minutes and 40 seconds right now remaining to actually get it. There's actually a turret right inside of that thing. I'll go ahead and try and nuke that down. There we go. To get rid of that as soon as possible. And it's time to see if we can maybe push this thing back even a little bit. So if you stay close to it, it does actually get moved the other way around. We don't actually have to be, um, we don't actually have to play too aggressive here either. I'm just simply taking a little bit of a breather. We can stretch our hands a little bit, being the true nerds that we are. And, um, well, I guess I'll, I'll go back into the action just because we're fighting, right? This is a fighting game. We need to make sure we nuke these nerds down. Two minutes remaining right now on the payload. We did get a other tank, I believe. I don't know, actually, if we already had a, um, a uh, Roadhog, but Roadhog is up right now. But I'm basically just trying to provide shields to whoever is currently taking the most damage. Now, their respawn place is right here. Which is not all that great for me, because I am way too close to it. Okay, that's my ultimate right there. Trying to burst in as much damage as possible. They're all very close together, but sadly didn't quite get the uh, the damage done that I wanted to. Nice ultimate uses right there by the Senyata player. Healing up that entire enemy team once again to full. Oh, sadly, I also quite don't get the damage done on the Reinhardt player that I was looking for. Now, we do get the ult. Oh my god. It's high noon. It's high noon. That's not good. He actually activated the High Noon of um, of McCree, the enemy did, um, right as our allied um, Lucio activated his ult as well. And it gives us so much extra damage that it will give us enough sustain right there to not fall down randomly. So far so good, one minute remaining right now on the payload. It does have a uh, overtime as well, so if they manage to get close to it, they will still be able to push closer. Uh, towards the objective. They don't need to technically deliver it with two minutes or within a minute rather, but they do have to be very close to it in order for it to be delivered. Now, they are currently pushing me back a lot. That is the ultimate right there of the Reinhardt player. I'll go ahead and use the shield right there on my ally and it looks like that ally did manage to do a lot of damage there to try and finish him off as well. Now, he did end up falling, but the Tracer player activated her ultimate on me. So what happens is basically the sticky grenade gets pushed into me and I did not quite get the damage in um, or like the uh, the sustain in right there to keep myself alive. 15 seconds remaining right now. I don't currently know if there is overtime. Actually, looking at the objective of the top side of the map, we can notice that there is currently no enemies close to the payload. And I think we may very well be able to just push for the victory here. Is there overtime? There is not. So sweet. We managed to take the very first game in our favor. Victory at last. I don't think I got to play at a game though. We definitely shielded a lot of damage and we definitely kept a lot of our allies alive. But it's going to be the opposing Reinhardt here that does get to play at the game. Let's have a look. So obviously killing me was to play at the game. Who's surprised? <laughs> obviously they just have to rub the salt in the wound right here by showing me how terrible I did. And that actually was a very, very solid move. So in total, apparently, projected barriers that I applied was 16, and we managed to block 1,854 damage. 
For the second match, we find ourselves on Hanamura once again on the defending team. That is pretty good for us because, well, hey, we should be in a pretty good place here once more. So, one minute until the game starts, we have a little bit of time here to set up our defenses. Now, this is also one of the older maps that already was available. But I figured we'll just start off with some of the older maps just to sort of get back into the swing of things. In the upcoming videos that I will upload for Overwatch, we will obviously have a look at the new game mode that they introduced as well as the, um, you know, the new, uh, the new maps that are now available as well. I've been playing them a little bit and they definitely are also pretty freaking awesome. So if you're interested in checking that out, do make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you get a notification as soon as I upload them. Now, as far as my teammates go, looks like a lot of these dudes do have uh, a couple of games under their uh, under their belt. So, hey, we should be good. Is he talking to me? I, I'm wearing a skin. Um, <laughs> he's looking at my skin right now. <laughs> I do have a little bit of a skin here, or a, a skin color change. He's saying it's the very first skin that I'm seeing in the game. Alright, so let's get into this. Five minutes until we, you know, well, I was going to say until we win the game. That's going to be quite a way off, though. They spawn really close to this objective. Looks like we do have Dr. Chop behind us, who is on the Mercy player. Now, Mercy has a couple of different great abilities that will either give us, like, a lot of extra health, so he will be able to heal us up, and right now, actually, he can also heal up the shielding. Uh, but most importantly, she can also provide us with additional damage. Now, I don't usually need all that extra healing, especially not on a hero like this, but the extra damage is obviously great. Now, she can switch on the fly between those two abilities. Looks like I am a little bit too far forward, though. I'm gonna provide her with a shield as well, and it looks like we are gonna be pushed backwards. Looks like there is actually a... Um, yeah, there's actually a turret right over there, which is nice for us. An Avara player trying to uh, wreak havoc to me. My weapon currently is fully charged, though. I gotta be a little bit careful because there is going to be a Widowmaker up on the high ground trying to, you know, snipe us down. It looks like I did manage to hit a right-click ability into one of the enemies, and that does manage to take him out. It was actually the Farah player, so nice. As long as we don't allow them through this door, so the, through these double doors, we should be in a good, pretty good place. I'm doing that thing that I always used to do when I was younger as well. It's like <laughs> leaning in and out when you're shooting these kind of rockets. My parents always made fun of me for that. All right. Where are you? Where are you now when I die now? Oh my god. Loco, don't go down. <laughs> I tried getting greedy there. Oh, nice revival usage though of the Mercy player. Allowing me to come back up. I will take that damage if I can, but it looks like I managed to shoot it down. Which is good. Uh, because that means that it won't quite do enough damage to uh, to the teammates. That actually has enough damage to instant shot anyone down, really. I'm gonna go in there. I got a little bit greedy right there, trying to kill the um, the junk rat player, and we didn't quite get it. Should be able to get him though, but he immediately also does get revived. I'll provide a shield here to my ally. Ultimate is almost ready to go, so I can start using that as well. Start setting up a good position for it. Ultimates do automatically recharge right now as well, which is really good for us. Um, because um, oftentimes those last couple percentages can be real annoying. And well, this way it's going well. Now we constantly have the weapon at 100%, which does a stupid amount of damage, as you can see. Like, I mean, I can actually ultimate here if I want to. I'm hoping that the Mercy player would also get in, but sadly didn't quite get, uh, get her in. Because actually she already died a little bit earlier to that. Nice revive or like resurrect usage so far though by the Mercy player. Keeping the entire team close to the objective and only two minutes remaining, we are actually pushing them back. Even though this is literally their spawn location. I would say this Mercy player is the one that is, you know, making this game pretty damn solid for us. I'll go ahead and give the Genji player right there an additional shield, well at least if I can. Oh god. I'll try and, and nuke her down. Okay, do get her. That's good. We did get a, a player kill streak here as well. I am a little bit low, but activating my shield right now, I should be in okay place once again. Do manage to take out that rip tire too. Gotta be careful though, because I'm low in HP. And there is a Widowmaker. Although, once again, the Mercy player healing me back up to full health, allowing me to get back into the battle immediately. Widowmakers do do a lot of damage. I don't think a headshot though of a Widowmaker is enough to kill a full HP Zarya player. But if I'm at uh, like a 200, I think she can go ahead and nuke me down. Now, they are pushing us back. They are pushing us back. I'll go ahead and give him an extra shield here as well, and we'll just start pushing backwards. There's actually a Mercy or a Widowmaker player on the high ground, and also a Vara player a little bit further out. So far, so good, though. We're holding them back for the time being, at the very least, and... Well, 
they don't manage to kill me very quickly like this at all. I'll go ahead and actually give her an extra shield as well. I thought she wasn't wanted to go over the window. Oh, man. And I do eventually end up falling. Do we still have another Resurrect ready to go? I think not. I think not. Alright, I'm respawning in three seconds here. I do have my Graviton Beam available that I can go ahead and activate by the time I'm there, but they're already capturing Objective A, so even though we did great for like the first four minutes, um, this this is likely going to be a capture right there for them, for Objective A, and, well, they do manage to capture it right now. Now, that does reduce the amount of time they have available to try and uh, capture B as well. In this particular map, they don't need to go ahead and escort a payload. They just simply go ahead and, you know, get the... Um, I can shake this, right? Oh, man. Was I already at lower HP? Hold on, let me have a quick look. I thought I'd, it wasn't able to actually kill me from... Oh, okay, there was actually a Farah player right next to me, that's why. That's unfortunate. That is real unfortunate. So far, we did quite well, though. We're actually the first in our team as far as eliminations go, which is pretty solid. And seven eliminations with three deaths is, you know, pretty much always going to be a good option. Now, sadly... I don't have a way of taking the shortcut on Zarya. I'm not quite fast enough to do that, but... Alright. I did activate the shoot right there on myself, as well as the ultimate, but... Alright. Sadly, that Roadhog is doing a ton of damage to us. Oh my god, that is his ultimate as well. Luckily, that Mercy player keeping me alive there. See if we can get Genji a little bit more shooting as well. I do have my left shift ready to go once more. Hmm, where's the fight? I hear a lot of shooting, I just don't know where it is. Alright, whoa! Whoa, 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 they backdoored us? <gasps> they backdoored us? Okay, it looks like someone else is getting rid of it right now. I do not really have the time to go over there. Alright. Gotta be careful that I don't get hooked. Oh no, oh no. Immediately activating my shield once again, but I'll be moving back here. That Roadhog is chasing me, man. He's trying to do damage to me, but I don't really want him to. Alright, so far so good. 3 minutes, 45 seconds remaining for this area to be defended as well. Okay, I should be fine to kill that. There we go. There we go. Do get that. Okay. Oh man, that Genji player is going to town, although a huge resurrect here, oh my god. We gotta be real careful here, because they did just resurrect practically all next to us, our base. I'm gonna go ahead and activate that extra shield here. Don't quite have my ultimate up ready to go again, because otherwise we would have been in a great position, but... I'm just gonna start moving around here as much as I can. Do have the extra shield up ready to go as well, and doing a lot of extra sustain here. Oh man, as long as they can break this position and we take out one by one, we should be great, but... This this Resurrect right there of the uh, of the Mercy player was really good. Okay, did activate my ultimate, did get one of the kills there, didn't quite get the Mercy player, I don't think. But maybe she managed to get out of there um, just in a nick of time, or maybe she actually didn't and just simply ended up dying there. Alright, once again, to get a little bit of a kill streak going here, which is good for us. The Roadhog player is right next here, and I'm actually gonna try and target fire down the Mercy player instead. She does end up falling there already to my teammates. So, so far so good. So far so good. Now, a Reaper player by yourself, you're not gonna be able to achieve all that much. He immediately does get taken out. So, very good. Very, very nice here. Alright, Roadhog. Roadhog is gonna probably try and get over here, which I am okay with if he wants to. Come on then, guys. Although, there's a lot of nerds moving in here. Um, group up. Group up, boys. They're right over here. Alright. I wanted to actually group up, but I guess, um... Actually, nice turret use it's right there as well. And they did come over here, so nice. Communication here is real. Looks like, um, the... Player that was prior playing the Roadhog now has switched to a Winston instead. Testing out one of the other tanks. Nice resurrect once again by them, but... Do get the steel trap taken out there. Trying to just simply nuke the damage down. I mean, we got so much sustain, especially from a, you know, oh my god, I got the shield right there. I hope. I gotta be careful though. I'm super low. Yeah, and I do end up falling there. I tried getting the extra shield right there on Genji. Genji can do a lot of extra uh, damage with his uh, with his ultimate once he does have that extra shield up. But it looks like they're currently on the objective. That's not good for us. That is not good for us at all. I'm gonna go ahead and give a shield right here to one of my allies as well. 
Looks like it landed on the Mercy player, but we are continuing onwards. The damage boost right there is huge. Alright. I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna get out of this circle. <laughs> Reaper, you can't do that much damage from this distance, man. Alright. Alright, good. Good, good, good. 40 seconds remaining. They didn't quite get any of the objectives done. Or like any of the, um, you know, ticks done of the objective yet. There's usually three ticks that you can go ahead and try and activate. Oh my god, what was that? Oh. Basically myself, because he was reflecting the damage, I think that's what, what that was. Okay, the Reaper player did get over here. My ultimate is up. I can try and save that ultimate though, just in case. Uh, but there's only 17 seconds remaining and I don't think we have to worry about very much of anything here. Do manage to grab that kill right before he grabs the heal cloak and it looks like we should be in a great spot. I'm not worried about you. I'm not worried about you. And we do grab that victory as well. So great moves um, so far by the team working out very, very well together. We do look pretty right there. And in total, I managed to do 16 eliminations and 4 deaths. So it looks like the Vara player, I think. Oh no, I was gonna say, I thought it was gonna be the uh, the fight in the middle of our base on the objective B where he uh, did a ton of damage to, uh, to us with the ultimate, but looks like it was just a little bit of a prior moment. So once again, I managed to do 23 projected barriers and I actually, you know, apparently blocked close to 2,000 damage. So I hope you enjoyed watching this game. If you haven't already, hit that like button. If you want to see more, like I mentioned, hit that subscribe button. And I want to thank y'all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, alright? And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!